Parvoviridae, Wikipedia article audio. Subfamily, Densovirini. Structure. Genome. Life cycle. Summary. Steps of life cycle. Attachment and entry. Single-stranded DNA to double-stranded DNA. Transcription and translation. DNA replication. Taxonomy. Viruses infecting humans. Unclassified viruses. Additional genera. Etymology. Subfamily, Parvovirini. The Parvoviridae are a family of small, rugged, genetically compact DNA viruses, known collectively as parvoviruses. There are currently 56 species in the family, divided among 26 genera and two subfamilies. Members of this family infect a wide array of hosts and have been divided into two subfamilies, which infect either vertebrates or invertebrates. Parvovirus B19 was the first pathogenic human parvovirus to be discovered and is best known for causing a childhood exanthem called fifth disease, although it is also associated with other diseases including arthritis. Canine parvovirus causes a virulent and contagious disease in dogs. Parvovirus particles have a durable non-enveloped protein capsid 2030 nm in diameter that contains a single copy of the linear single-stranded 5kb DNA genome, which terminates in small imperfect palindromes that fold into dynamic hairpin telomeres. These terminal hairpins are hallmarks of the family, giving rise to the viral origins of DNA replication and mediating multiple steps in the viral life cycle including genome amplification, packaging, and the establishment of transcription complexes. However, they are often refractory to detection by PCR amplification strategies since they tend to induce polymerase strand switching. Many parvoviruses are exceptionally resistant to inactivation, remaining infectious for months or years after release into the environment. Viruses in this family, family have small protein virions that exhibit T equals 1 icosahedral symmetry. Their capsid shells are assembled from 60 icosahedrally ordered copies of a single core protein sequence but some of these VP proteins also have N-terminal extensions that are not visible in X-ray structures. Biochemical and serological studies indicate that these extensions become successively exposed at the particle surface during virus maturation and cell entry, where they contribute to virion stability and mediate specific steps in cell trafficking. Parvoviruses appear to be unique in encoding a broad-spectrum phospholipase A2 activity, typically in the N-terminus of the longest subset of their capsid proteins, which is deployed to mediate virion transfer across the lipid bilayer of host cells. The viral genome is 4-6 kilobases in length and terminates in imperfectly palindromic hairpin sequences of 12500 nucleotides that exhibit genus-specific secondary structures, and can either be identical at the two ends of the genome or can differ in size, sequence, and predicted secondary structure. Homotelomeric viruses package DNA strands of both senses whereas heterotelomeric viruses generally package predominantly negative sense DNA. All parvoviruses encode two major gene complexes, the non-structural gene that encodes the replication initiator protein, and the VP gene which encodes a nested set of two six-size variants derived from the C-terminus of the single VP protein sequence. Members of the parvovirini also encode a few small genus-specific ancillary proteins that are variably distributed throughout the genome, show little sequence homology to each other, 
and appear to serve an array of different functions in each genus. Viruses in most genera are monosense, meaning that both viral genes are transcribed in a single direction from open reading frames in the same DNA strand, but members of one genus of Homo telomeric invertebrate viruses show ambisense organization, with the NS and capsid proteins being transcribed in opposite directions from the five ends of the two complementary DNA strands. The major non-structural protein, NS1, is a site and strand-specific endonuclease belonging to the Ha protein superfamily, and also carries a triple A plus SF3 helicase domain. NS1 initiates and drives the viral rolling hairpin replication mechanism, which is a linear adaptation of the more common rolling circle replication strategy used by many small circular prokaryotic and viral replicants. RHR is a unidirectional mechanism that displaces a single, continuous DNA strand, which rapidly folds and refolds to generate a series of concatomeric duplex replication intermediates. Unit length genomes are then excised from these intermediates by the NS1 endonuclease, and packaged 3 to 5 into preformed empty capsids driven by the SF3 helicase activity of NS1 rep. Viral replication is nuclear. Entry into the host cell is achieved by attachment to host receptors, which mediate internalization via endocytosis. Capsids are metastable, undergoing a series of structural shifts during cell entry that sequentially expose peptides carrying PLA2 activity and trafficking signals. These signals ultimately mediate delivery of the intact virion into the cell nucleus, where genome uncoating allows the establishment of viral DNA replication and transcription complexes that rely predominantly upon the synthetic machinery of their host cell. Replication follows the unidirectional strand displacement mechanism discussed above. Packaged virions from viruses in at least two genera have mechanisms that allow mature virions to be trafficked out of viable host cells prior to cell lysis, but members of most other genera are only released into the environment following death and lysis of the infected cell. Natural animal hosts for parvoviruses include a wide range of vertebrates, insects, and some crustacea. For viruses in the parvovirony transmission routes are commonly fecal-oral or respiratory. A virion attaches to receptors on the surface of a potential host cell. In the case of B19 virus the host cell is a red blood cell precursor and the receptor is the blood group P antigen. The virion enters the cell by endocytosis and is released from the endosome into the cytoplasm, where it associates with microtubules and is transported to a nuclear pore. With a diameter of 1826 nm, the parvovirus virion is small enough to pass through a nuclear pore, unlike the herpes virus nucleocapsid, though there is evidence that the virion must undergo some structural changes before it can be transported into the nucleus. Nuclear localization signals have been found in the capsid proteins of some parvoviruses. In the nucleus the single-stranded virus genome is converted to DSDNA by a cell DNA polymerase. The ends of the genome are double-stranded as a result of base pairing, and at the 3 end the O group acts as a primer to which the enzyme binds. The cell RNA polymerase II transcribes the virus genes and cell transcription factors play key roles. The primary transcript undergo various splicing events to produce two size classes of mRNA. The larger MRNAs encode the non-structural proteins and the smaller MRNAs encode the structural proteins. The non-structural proteins are phosphorylated and play roles in the control of gene expression and in DNA replication. After envirion assembly conversion of the SSDNA genome to DSDNA, 
the DNA is replicated by a mechanism called rolling hairpin replication. This is a leading strand mechanism and sets parvoviruses apart from other DNA viruses, which replicate their genomes through leading and lagging strand synthesis. Procapsids are constructed from the structural proteins and each is filled by a copy of the virus genome, either a DNA or a DNA as appropriate. One of the non-structural proteins functions as a heli case to unwind the DSDNA so that a single strand can enter the procapsid. Group, SSDNA This taxonomy was last updated by the International Committee on Virus Taxonomy Parvoviridae Study Group early in 2014, as detailed in References 1 and 12. The family is divided into two subfamilies, parvovirini, which infect vertebrates and densovirini, which infect invertebrates. Each subfamily has been subdivided into several genera. Subfamily densovirini Subfamily parvovirini To date, very few viruses from the densovirini have been studied and sequenced so the above taxonomy may poorly reflect the true diversity of this subfamily. Currently, all recognized members of genus Ambidensovirus, Brevidensovirus and Iterodensovirus infect insects, while the Hepan and Penstildensoviruses infect decapod shrimp. However, Recently two viruses have been isolated that segregate phylogenetically with members of genus Ambidensovirus but infect non-insect hosts. One of these, called Cherax quadricarinatus densovirus, has been shown to infect and kill the freshwater crayfish Cherax quadricarinatus, subphylum crustacea, while the other, called sea star associated densovirus, has been shown to replicate in and kill sea stars and perhaps some other members of phylum Echinodermata. Currently, viruses that infect humans are recognized in five genera, Boca parvovirus, Dependoparvovirus, Erythroparvovirus, Protoparvovirus, and Tetraparvovirus. Since databases contain vast numbers of sequences that might be considered parvoviral in origin but are not real viruses, the Parvoviridae study group cite the following criteria that must be established before a new viral sequence can be considered for recognition in the family, in order for an agent to be classified in the family Parvoviridae it must be judged to be an authentic parvovirus on the basis of having been isolated and sequenced or, failing this, on the basis of having been sequenced in tissues, secretions or excretions of unambiguous host origin, supported by evidence of its distribution in multiple individual hosts in a pattern that is compatible with dissemination by infection. The sequence must be in one piece contain all the non-structural and virus particle coding regions, and meet the size constraints and motif patterns typical of the family. This means that partial coding sequences or sequences from a single host animal, with no evidence of virus exposure in the rest of the population, will not be considered sufficiently validated. Samples from feces are particularly problematic because they may be derived from food and so do not have an unequivocal host animal. Similarly, samples from aquatic animals that are also present in the surrounding environment are difficult to attribute until they can be shown to directly infect other members of the presumed host species. Despite these caveats, Every year many new viruses are identified that will likely merit recognition, so that the published taxonomy always trails studies in the field. For example, a candidate parvovirus has recently been isolated by sequencing a histocytic sarcoma in a slow loris. The relationship between the virus and the sarcoma was not clear. Proposed additional genera include CHAP parvovirus and merino parvovirus.
Confirmation of the genera awaits a decision by the ICTV. Viruses of the family Parvoviridae take their name from the Latin parvum, meaning small or tiny. There are two subfamilies of the family Parvoviridae, Parvovirini and Densovirina. Canine Parvovirus Genus Ambidensovirus, Type Species, Lepidopteran Ambidensovirus 1 Genus includes six recognized species that infect insects from multiple orders, Genus Brevidensovirus, Type Species, Dipteran Brevidensovirus 1 Genus includes two recognized species that infect insects from the order Diptera, Genus Hependensovirus, Type Species, Decapod Hependensovirus 1. Genus includes a single species, Infecting Decapod Shrimp, Genus Iteratensovirus, Type Species, Lepidopteran Iteratensovirus 1. Genus includes five recognized species that infect insects from the order Lepidoptera, Genus Penstildensovirus, Type Species, Decapod Penstildensovirus 1. Genus includes a single species, infecting decapod shrimp. Genus Amdoparvovirus, Type Species, Carnivore Amdoparvovirus 1. Genus includes two recognized species, infecting mink and fox, genus Avparvovirus, type species, Galliform Avparvovirus 1. Genus includes a single species, infecting turkeys and chickens, genus Bocaparvovirus, type species, Ungulate Bocaparvovirus 1. Genus includes 12 recognized species, Infecting mammals from multiple orders, including primates, genus Copiparvovirus, type species, ungulate Copiparvovirus 1. Genus includes two recognized species, infecting pigs and cows, genus Dependoparvovirus, type species, adeno associated dependoparvovirus a genus includes seven recognized species infecting mammals birds or reptiles genus erythroparvovirus type species primate erythroparvovirus 1 genus includes six recognized species infecting mammals specifically primates chipmunk or cows genus protoparvovirus type species Rodent Protoparvovirus 1. Genus includes five recognized species, infecting mammals from multiple orders, including canines and primates, genus Tetraparvovirus, type species, primate Tetraparvovirus 1. Genus includes six recognized species, infecting primates, bats, pigs, cows, and sheep.